to let's play dreamful chapters with me little miss simma so we're about to start book one in the other part i was just sort of introductory part like explaining the story so far and this is part one and we're actually going to jump into the game now so i hope you guys are excited because i am so let's go ahead and press start now how do i do that um there we go there are two worlds our world the world of science and arcadia the world of magic dreams connect these parallel worlds but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. Ooh, here we go. Is there, does anyone else find how she said intersect really weird? <laughs> I find it so weird. Luckily, there aren't actually many loading screens in this game, which is awesome. It's only really at times like this when you're like starting up or ending. There's not really any in between, to be honest. It just all flows on from each other without any loading screens. And it's all pretty open world, so there's not many loading screens in between places.
a it's now called a They drift. say that every story has a beginning and an end. But that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end. Including mine. Oh, so um, that was just what we saw in the uh, trailer a bit there. So we can actually move around now. And this is sort of how we play. So you sort of see something. Those and then lights you... are people, spirits, souls, and then whatever you, click... you want to call them. <laughs> and then you click on it and she sort of talks and explains what it is. Or you can um, have like an option to see or touch or do something like that. So it says on items to hear Zoe's inner thoughts yeah I just explained that <laughs> um not actually sure where we're supposed to go oh there'll probably be a bunch of things over here that will need explaining so let's do that I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct but it doesn't look good that line should be pointing up not down there you go dad Gabrielle Stops by every day. He keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. Can I also just point out how amazing the graphics are in this game? Like, oh my fucking goodness. I want to reach out and touch her like she's real. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Okay. Oh, there's one on actual her. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. Is it just me, or does she sound like the voice of Lara Croft? And I've actually People keep up. bringing flowers. So funereal. Um, but it's not actually her. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. Wattilla? What the hell is a Wattilla? <laughs> um, I think I've clicked on everything. I don't know if that's how I actually look out there or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. And um, we can actually move on now. Oh. Okay. Help me! No! 
I can't grab her. She's falling too quickly. Well, duh. What, what do you think I've been trying to do? Ah! God! I can't grab her. She's falling too quickly. Slow down time. Help me! I'm trying to help you, but you're falling at the speed of freaking light right now. Help me! Alright, come on guys, we can do this. You should stop walking around while I'm trying to do this. Stop. Time. Help me! Now grab her. Now grab her. Hold on. Oh god, don't let go. We got her. Thanks for for saving me. Feels like I've been falling forever. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was this feels so real. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. Stop using that thing, the dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back and maybe I won't find you next time and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh God, no, no, I promise I'll remember. Do something else with your spare time. G go shopping, have lots of sex, take more naps, anything but um. this. <laughs> okay. Time to wake up. Thank you again who are you doesn't matter you won't remember anyway just go and never come back adios okay now where do we go do I just walk through this wall here? No. It seems she doesn't have the ability to walk through walls. Is someone else gonna fall? Oh! Okay. That dream is just... total blackness. The absence of light. Okay, let's go down there then. There's a man sat under a lamp. A street lamp. It's What's dark. wrong with him? It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I, I can't go anywhere. No. Don't. Don't come any closer. Who I'm are you? I'm coming to help you. The darkness. It's everywhere. It's getting closer. Oh man, I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who, who are you? You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. Um. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... Yes, I I'm going move. to turn the lamp on. I can't go on. anywhere. It's too dark. Just way too dark. Dreaming? No. That can't. See, he's technically walking into leave. the dark. This is now. too real. How do I run? Too real. Can she run? That's because you're connected to a dream machine. She if can't you remember run. nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream this one machines doesn't work. are dangerous. Don't use them. What? Or you'll Zoe. be stuck here. And maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. Zoe, please run. Please. I, swear, I don't ever want to come back. I won't touch a dream machine again. <laughs> oh, okay, this one works. Pressing the button, it's not doing anything. There we go. That bulb won't last long. Then run, thank you. Now she's running. 
The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Come here then. No, where, why are you running back? How do I fix this one? Okay, we'll do light and then we'll slow down time. This one won't work, so. Are you gonna just come over here now? Come on. He's walking very Stay slow. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. For someone who's scared of the dark. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. Do I need you to have a light within you. It's strong. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. Just stay close and I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from dream machines. You bet. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. Ah, I can turn this one on now. There we go. I have to wait for him to catch up. I'm drowning in it. The darkness is swallowing me up. Hmm. He's absolutely terrified of the dark. The dark. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. Something's fighting back. It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. She does look like quite funny with that thing on her head. Um, right, how do we make him stop? Oh. It's happening again. It's happening. The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So just let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy diamond. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. Thank you. Is that it? Do we help him? Thank you. Now what? I can't see anything. Oh crap. What have I done? Oh my god, I can't see anything! Oh dear, what have I done? I can see something, I think, or it might just be a mark on my screen. Um... Oh! Oh, there's the man. Okay. I was like, what the hell? I can't see anything. There you go. See? All this time you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Thank you. What does this mean? Select a destination for the man. Walk into the light. Walk into the... Don't worry. Not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. Thank you. You're very welcome. What is going on out there? It's getting worse. 
Um, young lady, where do you think you're going? Thank you very much. We are walking in this direction. She can run now, yes. Right, let's go and see what this is. Oh my god. What are you doing? Get away from there! Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. That's really sure. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there, through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or she'll unlock it and let the monster have me. Great parenting. Don't worry, I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Okay, so we have to find a key. Is there not one in this chest of drawers? It's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Pain. Anger. Sadness. No, of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a light bulb. Hmm. Right. Why bother with lampshades when a creepy bear bulb can suffice? Can she tell us where this key is, or...? Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. Like here? She... she had... A light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Okay. Let's look under the bed. Oh, it's too dark. Can't see. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Okay, and we can use this. Where's my inventory? Oh, 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 okay. The key is here. Got something. A key. Okay, so do I have to use the key to get into the wardrobe now? Okay. Hey, yeah, it's working. Cool. too close it will take you see it's gone you're safe now thank you but I don't know how to get back home I don't know where my mummy is she's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you it's it's scary 
Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Aww. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. Oh, okay. Who's this guy? Can I move now? There we go. Let's go over here. He looks kind He's of a hard man to get hold of, the vagabond. I've been calling him for the longest time. Let's talk What's to him. going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and It's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Home? For better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. No. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. I don't want to do home. either of these. But let's just get this I'm one. not going home. There's nothing there for me. There's no one. There's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But I'm... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so why bother? Yes, they I'm do. I'm afraid. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. I Isn't think we'll it go with who him. needs me? All who live, who have lived, and who will live. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven. But the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, 
Some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. Hmm. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. Yeah. Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Okay. Okay, so I go back, face the world, face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react, touch people's lives without fear of consequence. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. I think we'll choose okay, acceptance. So, so, what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then, I want you to save- Save the world. I did such a bang up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Oh, thank Maybe you very bigger, much. bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. Okay. He's gone. Okay, guys, I am go going to go ahead and end this part here because I feel like it's been quite a long one. I assume in the next part we'll be going to the world where people are dreaming or whatever what that man was talking about, um, the vagabond man. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed part one of Dream 4 Chapters and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Yeah.